Oh, I think we are back. And I'm sure uh, some of you must have faced this issue while you were on a Zoom video meeting. I mean, it can be quite frustrating when your video just suddenly stops working and uh, you are not sure what caused it. But then this video will help you out. I'll be talking about some quick fixes that you can try so that never ever, never ever you have to face this particular video issues while you're on a Zoom call. So well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look. Okay, so the very first and the basic thing that you need to check is that the video while you are joining a particular Zoom meeting is turned on. So by default, when you join a meeting, Zoom does offer you a prompt for it, but there's a possibility that you might have missed it. And for the same reason, you'll see a red line on top of the start video icon in the bottom left. And well, fixing it is super easy. Simply click on that icon so that it changes to something like this. Notice the text next also changes to stop video. Yeah, that signifies that your video footage from the webcam is now being broadcasted to other attendees in the Zoom meeting. Now moving on, and chances are that there might be multiple webcam sources enabled on your laptop. And you must be wondering, I mean, I just have one webcam on my laptop, so how can multiple sources be there? So let's say you might have plugged in a USB cable, I mean USB webcam, sometime in the past or you might have just tried to use your android phone as a webcam and in such cases the drivers or the sources still exist on your pc and the chances are that zoom has been picking up those particular dormant input devices as your default webcam and in order to fix that open up settings on zoom and head down to video section now from the drop down menu you can select the webcam device of your choice i mean the one that you think is still working and zoom will show you a preview here and making it easier for you to choose which cam is working for you right now so well that's an easy fix but what if you're using an external webcam and it's still not showing up well chances are that particular webcams why might be faulty or it's not getting enough power to power on I mean, USB have to supply, I mean, you get that supply of power using the USB cable and sometimes it just doesn't work the way you want it to. So if you are facing something similar, the one thing that you can do is try switching the webcam to a different port. Ideally, you would want to see which port the webcam has designed for and some webcams out there only works with a USB 2.0 port. So plugging them in a 3.0 port would cause them to malfunction or simply not work. I know, I know it sounds too simple, but then sometimes these simple fixes can solve big problems. And uh, the next thing that you want to try is check if your OS is interfering with your webcam. And I'll be talking about how you can fix it on Windows, but you can try and see if you can follow similar steps if you're using a Mac. Now turn on the toggle that says allow apps to access your camera. And here scroll down and enable the toggle under allow desktop apps to access your camera. Finally, in the list of apps shown below, make sure that the Zoom has access to your webcam. So yeah, so much for maintaining your privacy, right? I mean, sometimes whatsoever happens is you might have installed Zoom and uh, out of the blue, you might have denied webcam access to it. So let's say this will fix that. And now the last thing you would want to check is that no other application is using your webcam while you want to use it for a Zoom video meeting because a webcam cannot be used for two applications at the same time. So if apps that use your webcam like camera app, Skype, or even the Google Chrome where your Google meeting might be switched on, you might want to close that. I mean, the best thing that you can do is try restarting your computer. Yes, restarting your computer will make sure that all the apps or all the web browsers that have access to your webcam would be, I mean, they'll be completely knocked off from the memory and the next time you power on your PC and use Zoom, the webcam will be available. Now make sure that you save all the work you have been working on before you power off your PC. So that's there. I mean, you have to make sure that you save everything that's important to you. So guys, those are some of the quick tips that you can follow to make sure that the Zoom meetings you are attending, you join with your video. I mean, if we are able to help you out, please do give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do hit that subscribe button also. And well, that's all in this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.